a similar organisation in Camden against the cuts, but he'll tell you more about it. I'll just give that one to of the things we're thinking of doing jointly is yeah. when the, the big demonstration takes place on the 26th of March, we're looking at having a, a feeder march from his exit in Camden, but we'll talk about that later. So, George, please. Thanks very much. Good afternoon, everyone, and well done on turning out on this great Saturday in February. You've heard I'm from Camden, where I'm chair of the Trades Council and also secretary of the Unison branch with some 3,500 members. We face the situation in Camden of 82 and a half million pounds in cuts over the next three years. That translates into the loss of a thousand full-time equivalent jobs, nearly one in five workers employed by Camden Council. But it doesn't stop there. It translates also into rent rises of more than 7% for council tenants. It means the closure of day resource centres, veritable lifelines for older people who would otherwise be completely isolated socially. Four of those day resource centres in Camden, serving hundreds of people aged 65 to 100, are threatened with closure over the course of the next year and a half. We saw a tremendous demonstration by up to 150 people on a Tuesday afternoon, the 18th of January. Many of them, women in their 90s, reliant on wheelchairs or canes, who show how much they value the services our Unison members provide. We saw 500 people stand outside Camden Town Hall in frigid conditions on the 1st of December to lobby the Labour-controlled cabinet not to green light 82 and a half million pounds in cuts, which will mean the loss of direct play provision in Camden. Play provision that means that many single parents are actually able to work during the summer school holidays. We all know here that the current condemn coalition, which emerged after last year's general election, has used the excuse of the ginormous bailout, the 1.3 trillion pound bailout of the banks, the bankers, and the financial institutions as an excuse, as an excuse to launch a full assault on the public sector, on the welfare state's basic principles, and of course, on the workforce. And I want to make an appeal today to Labour councillors, South River and Lambeth, who will be setting a budget on Monday night, to Labour councillors here in Islington, and of course to Labour councillors in Camden, to stand up and be counted. Defy, do not comply. Do not yeah. act yeah. the Tories and the Lib Dems have fashion. And I would also say to the leader of my own union and the other TUC unions, you have spoken about this battle to defend the public sector workforce and the welfare state as the fight of our lives. Yet to date, you have acted as though this fight has not even started. You haven't answered the bell for the first round. Well, we must make sure that the 26th of March is not the end of the fight, but the beginning of a fight that needs to see coordinated strike action across the whole of the public sector to defeat the cuts and to bring down this Tory victim coalition of the bosses, for the bosses, by the bosses. Unison in Islington, they've got around 2,000 members.